I was to bundle all of this process into a word, what would it be? Every step of the way, every accomplishment that people said couldn't be done has given us energy to push further. We started with an organization of 1,400 or so uh, staff members and who were you know, running the ship, basically doing work on a daily basis. And we had to continue doing that, but we also had to create two new organizations, each with their own identity. Well, this is one of the most significant regionalizations and sort of institutional restructurings that I uh, know of. Game changing. Challenging. Challenging. Honored. Oh, <laughs> one word, wow. Dynamic. Energizing. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, wow is the, the word that comes to mind. Our success is tied to their success, and we've always known that as a region, but for some reason we've let what I would call small issues masquerading as big issues get in the way. I felt very welcomed. There wasn't any group of people that I felt resistance from. It was uncomfortable. I think it's naturally an uncomfortable situation. Everybody understood that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we had to make sure that we did when we stepped into the room was saying, you know what, we, we, we are not here uh, to cast judgment on anything or anyone or any any particular element. We're, we're here to help. Along the vein of collaboration, there were questions asked of customers, you know, could you help with these things? Not just sit in meetings and participate, actually have roles. Collaboration is important to getting anything done in government, especially at the local level, uh, which includes the uh, cities and counties. That's really part of the key towards being able to achieve collaboration, is for people to understand um, what information is, uh, is out there, uh, to be able to share that information. We finally got a, uh, you know, found a regional approach to solving uh, a big problem in Detroit, which was finding the funding. The transition to form D DWSD and GLWA has been a tremendous experience where partnerships were created, actually friendships have been created, and working relationships have really expanded. There's always been this suburban versus Detroit conflict and for people to put those things aside and actually see this thing through and have this thing stand up, it's actually pretty amazing and it's cool to be a part of. I went through a lot of, I guess, concerns about how this was going to work out for the city uh, as well as for all of our customers. I mean, we have to come to a certain reality, okay, and that certain reality is that Detroit is the poorest city um, in, in the country, major city in the country. I had to talk to myself a lot and um, try to keep in mind, this was going to happen, so what's the best way for it to happen? My deep concerns really related to the whole bankruptcy issue and, and the effects that that bankruptcy had on the employees of the city of Detroit. As a practical matter, water and sewer services are becoming increasingly challenging uh, for low-income customers throughout the country. It really is dependent upon a group of people who are open to working together. People really never lost their hope or their sense of trying to get the thing accomplished. Um, which I, I credit to, to Sue and her staff. They should be commended. In birthing uh, Great Lakes Water Authority, there, there were a lot of midwives. Certainly Director Sue McCormick and Chief Financial Officer Nikki Bateson all put in extraordinary amount of time uh, and thought through this process. I don't, I don't think the public knows how many people d dedicated a lot of hours, both volunteer as well as part of their job. Uh, to get this done, and without all that help, it would not have gotten done. It was a very complex process. process. We're all celebrating the stand-up, and we've taken our one or two days to celebrate that, but now we have to move forward. It's going to be important as a new organization to establish baselines. There are a lot of people whose names may not be known other than to those of us that relied on them that are deserving of our thanks. It's an incredible new opportunity. Uh, this is a different brand uh, than we had with a department of a single 
a governmental entity. This is really a, a new collaborative, if you will, that has operating authority for the system. Uh, and so this is a transformation. Uh, this may be a lease, but from the customer's perspective, this is really the transition from customer to owner. My focus right now is in terms of always in the back of my mind, what would the ratepayers say? Are we, are we making the efficient changes that we need to, to make mm -hmm. in order to save them at the, at the end of the day? The rates, re creation, revenue requirements, the operating budgets, financial information, I, I see that as great hope as to uh, a much more, uh, a much better understanding of the, the operations. So I think the most critical thing about this deal is it allows DWSD to really be a customer focused organization for its retail customers. I think the RAP program that's, that's come out of this process is going to be modeled around the country because urban uh, areas all over the country are grappling with the same issue. I do think it will be uh, better for the residents of the city of Detroit in that uh, their management team and their employees will be able to be solely focused on improving services inside the city of Detroit proper. What's good for Detroit's portion of the system, for DWSD, is good for GLWA, and what's good for GLWA is good for uh, DWSD. It seemed like a long time to get here, but we're here now, and the bifurcation is taking place, the big splash, January 1st and uh, we're, we're raring to go to get going. I really truly believe that we laid a good solid foundation uh, in for both organizations to be effective, but it's, uh, it's a great launch point for GLWA for that all to have been done, uh, and it's really set the stage for us to do so much more.